For a long time, there's been lots of animal behavior people studying insects, and the question has always been, is my insect inherently good or evil? Um, and so finally, uh, we'll turn to the digital devices, which will allow us to know if they're truly good or truly evil. Um, so first we'll take a cicada, um, and we'll put it in front of our bug judger. Uh, wait, oh, cicada, it's all right. Um, now we'll take a best beetle, um, we'll put it in front of the bug judger. Evil, so sorry people studying best beetles. They seem to be very nice, they're very cute. Uh, they scurry around, sit in wood, can't bite you, but inherently evil. Um, and then finally, uh, to just show uh, how this is actually going on, uh, here's the simple RFID button that I have inside the cicada. So it's just a RFID button hooked up to this SparkFun um, breakout board hook, uh, that's connected to the ID20 RFID reader. When I place it within about a couple centimeters of it, um, we can see that the electronics themselves are good. Um, but uh, whenever I put it in front of there, it sends a serial output to the computer, which I can then read in in a simple processing sketch that I've made to parse it. I have um, another RFID button inside of this cicada. Uh, and I have a tiny RFID grain that is glued inside this best beetle. And so the RFID reader can easily penetrate their shells um, or even quite a distance of plastic. So I had it where I had some on bugs that were going through tubes, such as bees going into a, a hive and it was still being able to be detected. These RFID grains were small enough for my Aphenogaster cockerelli to carry, and I was able to detect it when they had moved a mealworm that had an RFID grain um, through a tube, um, so they're effective for that. Um, and this was probably one of the simplest things I had to set up. Um, really, uh, this device, you don't even need to program it because it only has the one job and uh, it just feeds the serial output the processing. And you make just a simple little sketch here. Store in whatever values you want uh, to uh, recognize um, or take down, and then display or visualize them in some sort of way. Cool. Okay, I think that's it.